Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Dom Work, man. And look, today I got my point guard build for y'all. A lot of people been hitting me up on Twitter about it. And I'm finally bringing y'all the video, man. But look, usually when you hear a point guard build in 2K, you know you're thinking about a play shot, Steph Curry type of build, you know the meta. And you know, to each his own, I ain't knocking nobody, but my play style and what I prefer is something more like this build right here. One thing I really hate is being a liability on defense, bro. I hate being like a point guard with no D on him. You know, you go sit in the corner, but even though you're in the corner, you got dudes shooting over you, you got dudes back dooring you, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. And y'all know I be in a wreck with the randoms and shit like that, so you definitely can't be in there on no point guard with no D. But you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, usually when people make point guard builds, they doing like, you know, the play shots and the Steph Curry type of builds and all that. But me, this is more of a John Wall, you know, Russell Westbrook, Dwayne Wade type of build. Now, when you hear that and when you look at the build, you might think, okay, this build can't shoot, but it can do everything else. But look, I'm telling y'all right now, this build can shoot very well, bro. And y'all gonna see when we get into the gameplay, man. I ain't gonna talk too much about it. But look, let me go ahead and show y'all how to make this build, man. So, of course, you know you're gonna make him a point guard. Whatever number, whatever hand. And then for the height, we're gonna go 6'3", 180 on the weight. Max out the wingspan, 7 foot wingspan. And now here's what the attributes are gonna be looking like on this build. Now we're gonna go over all the pros and the cons. I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all on the build. And I'm gonna give y'all my honest, you know, feedback on how to build plays and things like that. So look, when it comes to the finishing on the build, the only thing that I kind of regret is not having a higher close shot. Now, I don't know if y'all seen this tweet from Mike Wang right here. So basically, your layup attempt or your floater attempt, if it takes off from a certain distance away from the rim, then instead of it using your layup attribute, it's going to go to your close shot instead. And I mean, I kind of knew that already from previous 2Ks. You know, I talked about that before. But y'all know with this builder, man, you got to sacrifice somewhere. So it is what it is. But if I could do it again, I definitely up that close shot a little more because look, I have missed a couple of like scoop layups and floaters and things like that. And I think if I had a higher close shot, I'll be making them. But other than that, you know, the 81 driving layup is great. You know, I get silver fearless, you know, silver acrobat. And y'all know I usually prefer to get them badges on gold, but I feel like silver badges are a little bit better this year. Now don't get me wrong, you know, there's still plenty of value in gold. But for this build right here, I feel like that's going to be the best bang for my buck. Because when I'm designing my builds, I'm really thinking like, okay, do I want to be more of a finesse finisher? Or do I really just want to go out there and throw some shit down? So with this build right here, like I said, this is like a Westbrook, John Wall, D-Wade type of build. So I'm more so looking to attack the rack and dunk on a nigga. So I went with the 86 driving dunk. Now y'all know that gets limitless takeoff on gold, which is crazy. And with the 75 vert, I get all the pro contact dunks. So that's the contact dunks off of two and off of one. And then y'all already know, 86 driving dunk also gives you silver poster. Now, as far as the shooting goes, y'all see, I went with the 76 midi and the 76 three ball. Now y'all probably think I'm crazy for that, but I'm telling y'all right now, bro, I've been shooting very well with the 76, actually way better than I expected. And y'all gotta remember, as you're playing the game, you're gonna get takeover. And you know, as you fill your takeover up, your ratings go up. So as long as you're playing well, that 76 might rise to like an 80. And y'all already know, it just makes it even better. As long as you're taking quality shots, that 76 is gonna be very reliable, man. Now, when it comes to the playmaking, y'all already know, like I said in my last video, you gotta go at least 86 on the passing, man. Trust me. Ball handle, you know I went with the 88 ball handle. That way I get that clamp breaker on gold, killer combos on gold as well. And yo, if you a slashing type of build, bro, you better have that clamp breaker on, man. I kind of slept on it, I ain't gonna lie. But after I really started using it, bro, that joint is crazy. Trust me, if you a slasher, you need it. Now, I've been noticing a lot of people skimping on speed with ball you know a lot of people say oh you don't need it on a guard all you need is the acceleration and all that but look man y'all could do you but for me if i'm on a fast break or if i'm bringing a ball up the court and you know a dude trying to press me anything like that speed with ball is gonna really help you the way i look at it is like yeah the acceleration is gonna get you open initially but then the speed with ball is what's gonna keep you open and keep that separation 
And now my favorite part of the build, as you can see, this build is a lockdown, man. So you can see, it's really not a liability anywhere. We got block on the build, we got block on the point guard build. Come on, man. And as y'all can see, the build has an 87 speed and a 92 excel. I see a lot of people skimping out on speed on their builds, man, but look, it's gonna help you play defense better. It's gonna help you be out on the breaks better, you know, when you're running a fast break. And you know, this build is more of a two-way, more of a defender, so yeah, you're gonna need that speed, man. Now, as far as the takeover options go, you know you get this slasher, you get this shot creator, you get that playmaker, and you get that lock take. And then when you go through with it, as you can see, you get shades of Isaiah Thomas, Van Vliet, and Mike Conley, man. So that's pretty dope. But look, man, I literally grinded this build all the way in my career. I didn't even touch the park or the rec with it yet. So what y'all gonna see is me taking the build into the rec for the first time after hitting 99. And we gonna see if it was worth the grind, man. So look, before we get into the gameplay, here's a quick look at the badges that I'm running right now. The only thing I need to do really is core limitless takeoff on gold, so that way I can put on posterizer on silver and I'll be straight as far as the badges go. Yeah, I'm trying to get unpluckable up a little bit higher too, but for now it is what it is. So we're off the rip, I'm coming down the court, I dot my man right here, but he oh takes a step God. to the side. Oh, hell no. And his build is called a sharp, so I trusted him, but it is what it is, man. You know, move on to the next play. But right now, we down 12 to 2 early. So it's looking pretty bad right now, but I come down the court, man. I'm able to get a contact layup to go right here. But we still down 4 to 14. Now, my man's right here is bringing the ball up the court. Okay, dribbling up a storm. I'm open. He hits me. I'm able to get to that corner pull up. And that's a bucket with a 76-3, man. So like I said, bro, so long as you're taking open shots and good shots, you're going to be straight. But unlike my mans right here, I don't know what's good with him. He's broke right now. My man's dead ass building a mansion, bro. And his build is called a sharp. I don't think so, my nigga. But look, right here, I hawk the lane. Fast break, I'm out. And y'all can see and y'all know, defense leads to offense, man. You play good D, you're going to get offense out of it. Now look right here. Pulled up three ball with a 76. Remember that. That's a 76 three ball, bro. Looking like a play shot. Now, peep this right here. Remember, I got block on the build. He tried to go up. I got that block. My little 6 3 build got that fucking block on it, nigga. Now we out on the break. Throw it down there. Defense leads to offense. Come on, man. Y'all know how it go. I mean, granted, it was a terrible take, but hey, it is what it is, man. But look right here. I get the big man to jump, dump it off to my mans in the paint. We get a bucket. So we making a little comeback or whatever, but now my man's right here, he's still trying to get his rhythm. He pulling up on the break, shooting another fucking late. Like, yo, bro, at what point do you decide like, yo, enough is enough. Let me pass the rock. That nigga got no conscience, man. He just shooting that bitch. But as you can see, that's the halftime report. But we still down too. So, you know, I'm coming down the court right here. Now I'm trying to get busy. I'm in takeover and all that. I get by him. Look at that, bro. Just straight to the rim and yamming that shit. One thing y'all gotta know if you don't know already, this is a Slashers 2K, bro. I don't care what nobody says. This game is for the Slashers, my nigga. So if you ain't got a slash and build, I advise you make one. And trust me, I got a 6 4 slasher I'm working on. That motherfucker about to be a demon. But look right here, get the big man to jump again. Dump it off to the center. Luckily, this center had some IQ and he knew where to be. Because the thing about this 2K is that if you don't jump, like see right there, the center didn't jump because look, he's like, he gonna dump it off to him again. And I knew that because I'm playing mind games with him. I wanna see what he's gonna do because really the centers are the only thing stopping me from scoring. So I gotta play mind games with him. Like I'm in here in the, with the randoms. So, you know, there ain't no set offense or nothing like that. Now, right here, I fried like two niggas, got to the rim and yammed on the big man. Like get out the way, my nigga. Don't even jump, bro. Don't even bother jumping. You're way too late. Already took flight. Now, right here, see, now, now he jumping again, right? Dump it off to the big man because he's in the right place at the right time. So, like I said earlier, I'm just playing mind games with the center because really, he's the only thing stopping me from scoring the ball. I'm going to get by my man every time. And as you can see, I'm going to dunk that bitch. But look, it's 48 48 in the fourth quarter, man. 10 seconds left in the game. I make a move right here. I dot my man, the sharpshooter. He wide open, but. You know, he panicked, he wasn't expecting it, I don't know. But I get to this pull up right here, and you know what? I'm kinda tight, I missed that, cause that was a decent look. I definitely could've greened it, but it is what it is, man. We in overtime now, and I hit my man on the break, but he is a sharp, so I don't even blame him for not going up with that. Shit, I don't blame him, bro. Rather be safe than sorry, but right here I get dotted in the corner, but 
you know they give me a bad shot selection for some odd reason i miss it but look my man's right here about to green something crazy yo i ain't gonna hold y'all over time i didn't really do much bro to be honest everybody just seemed to find their timing all the shooters just started greening up out of nowhere so you know what i mean i was just sitting back watching the show and getting carried to the w in overtime even my man's right here who been bricking the whole game found his timing the whole team actually flopped after you hit that shit too so one thing about grinding your builds in my career and then bringing them online is you know you never know if it's going to translate if it's going to play the same way you know against people with different badges and things like that and i can honestly say bro i'm happy with the way this build is playing online bro i played a couple more games i'm gonna put a couple clips in there for y'all but yo check this out right here right i'm in the middle of a free throw and a dude quits out the game and look what it does hey, yo, what blocks my whole screen with that big ass 2k logo they gotta patch that up out the game bro that's insane that could cost you again but anyway man here's the box score you know what i mean for the first game with the build online 22 and 8 9 14 2 for 3 from 3 not bad man now if you still don't believe that this build can shoot this game right here or these clips right here should prove it to you because i mean look i'm coming out the gate shooting leaners from three and now look we out on the break you think i'm gonna go dunk it now nah, i'm pulling up from deep and right here i'm gonna catch it in the corner you know go a little back and forth with it try to get them off balance and then get to that mid-range pull up and you already know that's a money ball and look like i said earlier good defense leads to easy offense i make them put it down now we out on the break hit them with a walk back tray ball blinders on bronze and it's popping up so look i'm damn near doing the same shit that i'll be doing on a play shot but on top of that i can dunk like hell and i can play lockdown d so you tell me where am i really losing out at look at this crab midi hey yo we really should have won this game but these dudes is out here playing buddy boy i mean they come in here with two or three people and they don't want to give the point guard the ball on the inbound you see i get the clutch still right there and they still ruin it i don't know what else i gotta do man but yo, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the build. If you fuck with the build, be sure to leave a like on the video. If you ain't following me on Twitter, be sure to give me a follow at Be Like Dom. And as always, man, I appreciate all the support. I got a crazy 6'4 pure slasher type of build that I'm working on, so that might be up next. So stay tuned for that, and y'all already know, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.